What's happening guys? Welcome back. Yes, as you can tell from the title, we have finally remapped the Mini Cooper R53. So people who are new to the channel, welcome guys. Obviously make sure to obviously subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, so yes, we finally tuned the Mini Cooper and it's definitely made a huge difference. There's no doubt about to it. And of course, when you map a car, obviously it changes the tone of the exhaust and all that good stuff. It's a, it's a fun little car. It's a shame it isn't going to stay out for very long, but I'm going to try and make as much content with the car as much as possible uh, and go from there. Right, DSCR, subtraction. <laughs> oh my God, we did a mini bad out. <laughs> I'm going to get onto the main roads um, and then start filming from there properly. But... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is an awesome little car. I'll be honest with you guys. This thing is relatively quite juicy on fuel. I'm not going to lie to you. Whoa, look at that traffic. Right, that's not exactly uh, ideal, but... <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this traffic and then I will continue filming from there because I don't want to bore you guys with well, talking during traffic. Right guys, so now we're going to kind of get onto more of like empty roads and stuff. So yes, yeah, so we have now officially tuned the R53 Mini Cooper S. <laughs> oh, the baby supercharger noise just never ever gets old. I mean for a 1.6 at around 200 horsepower now, which is not that bad, on a stage one, a standard stage one with sort with no sort of supporting mods, for example, no exhaust, stock exhaust, stock filter, is around 195 horsepower, which a lot of people have been gain, getting. So this has obviously got the Cobra exhaust system on there, so it has freed up quite a bit of air uh, in terms of performance-wise, so it has been a difference. And obviously the K&N filter, it's proven to give the extra 10 horsepower, but I'm not gonna kind of count on it uh, because I don't really believe in that nonsense. I mean, it's definitely 200 horsepower for sure. There's no doubt about to it. Um, being a small 1.6 supercharged engine, it is very, very punchy in the sense that you definitely feel that it's got more than it what, <laughs> what it should be having from factory, obviously, because it's tuned. Tuning this car was definitely on the bucket list to do because as you guys know, I have always, always wanted to own an R53 Cooper S. The reason being is because it's such a cool car and kind of now owning one and getting the opportunity to kind of map it myself. So if I chuck it into second gear, obviously traction's off. So if we take it about two and a half, 3000 RPM, it's... <laughs> The way this thing handles around a corner, the car doesn't hover left and right, which uh, is something that I actually can vouch for and say it does handle quite well for a bone stock car, which is actually not that bad. So first gear, burnout. <laughs> Front wheel drive burnout, baby. What we're going to be doing is, we're going to be doing, a, I'm going to attempt to do a 0 to 60. Wait. Okay, sorry, bottle. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do a 0 to 60. Um, I'm not exactly expecting amazing figures with a 0 to 60, but I've always wanted to try one in this. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but it's going to be quite fun, actually. It's quite cool to see the fact that um, Mini actually spent decent money on this car. Being a 2003 car, um, sorry, 2002, so late 2002, it actually feels like a new, it feels better than an 07, 08 Cooper S. I actually sat in a, an 08, 07 Cooper S about two days ago, and the quality difference is just mind boggling. It's insane. <laughs> Fucking hell, man, this thing, wee! It's 40 there. <laughs> this thing actually moves, it's weird. I'm actually low on fuel. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna go to the petrol station, and then we're gonna do a nice zero to 60. Um, 
obviously before I do kind of cut this bit and go to obviously the zero to 60, the car just feels so much better, so much nicer to drive, so much smoother. Because obviously when you tune a car, um, it does obviously make it more, more nicer to drive really, more, more responsive. It doesn't feel very edgy, doesn't feel very gutty when you drive it. It's a nice experience. And I think this is honestly, no word of a lie, an absolutely awesome, awesome project car. I would highly recommend anyone because as far as I know, I've spoken to quite a fair, fair amount of Cooper S or R53 enthusiasts. They've said these cars can take up to around 300 horsepower on stock engine. So imagine, that's pretty much Audi S3, so bone stock Audi S3 power in a Cooper S, which doesn't exactly weigh much. Um, it's pretty impressive and plus considering the year and as I'm going to fill up there's the missus in the 140i it just makes me realize how nice that 140i in the night in the night is plus with the f1 light and how awesome that big turbo m140i sounds like it is awesome right so we're going to be connecting the draggy now uh it is a little bit darker than I thought the reason being is because um I had to go back home, get my wallet to put petrol in. The reason being is because I didn't bring my wallet with me, which was my stupid fault. But we're going to be doing a draggy now. I thought I'd go to like a local park, which would be a little bit easier. So I'll put the draggy right here so it doesn't go anywhere. Two, one. Come on, come on, come on. It's... That's it. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. 60. Right, I'm going to find out what the 0 to 60 on that one was. For looking over, oh bloody hell. Right guys, so as I just done the 0 to 60 with the continuous amount of uh, wheel spin, looking over, I don't really want to be stopping anywhere, but 0 to 60 in 6.4 seconds on a damp road on an okay-ish stage one remap. It's actually not that bad. Not that bad at all, I'm slightly impressed. I reckon on a drier day, it has been a little bit damp and it has rained a tiny bit today. So above even around, I was, to be fully honest with you, I was expecting in the eight or nine seconds, I'm not gonna lie. But around the six second mark, which is actually not that bad. Not that bad at all. Fair play, fair play, Mini. Uh, obviously as it is front wheel drive, it's not gonna have the most amazing zero to 60 times plus as you guys can understand it's on budget tires um so we're going to be getting that changed obviously but around the six seconds it's not that bad at all i'm impressed i'm actually very impressed but obviously guys i hope you guys obviously stay tuned for more regular videos i'm going to be posting every week well i'm going to try post every week anyway uh now i just want to get home and rush to the traffic so i can actually post this video tonight let's see if i get to post it tonight but obviously stay tuned we are honestly so close to getting to 5k now i'm not that far it's only a couple of hundred away but guys please share we are a growing channel and as you guys know i appreciate every single comment every single like dislike hate whatever you guys want to do i appreciate every single one of them because it's what helps me grow, helps me grow as a person as well. It gets me to obviously get to know you guys. I want to post videos that you guys actually enjoy. I'm keeping it consistent, even though the algorithm isn't actually working with me lately, but just got to keep going, grinding away. But stay tuned, guys, and obviously I'm going to be posting some more videos every single week.